Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered, what's really going on up there? Why doesn't the Earth fall down? It's a question that has puzzled many curious minds. It's a great question and the answer might surprise you. You see, the Earth is constantly falling. That's right, falling. But don't worry, we're not going to crash into anything. The reason lies in celestial mechanics. First, we need to talk about a little something called gravity. Gravity is like an invisible force that pulls things towards each other. It's what keeps you stuck to the ground and what makes that delicious apple fall from the tree. But gravity does so much more than that. It's the reason why the moon orbits the Earth and why the planets orbit the sun. It's a universal force that governs the motion of everything in the universe. Now you might be wondering if the Earth is falling, why don't we feel it? Well, it's because the Earth is also moving forward at an incredible speed. This forward motion, combined with the pull of gravity, creates a delicate balance that keeps the Earth in orbit around the Sun. The Earth stays in orbit due to the perfect balance between its velocity and the gravitational pull of the Sun. This balance creates a stable orbit, preventing the Earth from falling into the Sun or drifting away into space. The gravitational force acts as a centripetal force, constantly pulling the Earth towards the Sun, while the Earth's velocity ensures it keeps moving forward, creating a continuous orbit. This delicate balance is a result of the laws of physics, specifically Newton's law of universal gravitation and Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Interestingly, the Earth's orbit is not a perfect circle but an ellipse, with the Sun at one of the focal points. This elliptical orbit means that the distance between the Earth and the Sun changes throughout the year, affecting the seasons and climate on Earth. Imagine for a moment that Earth loses its orbit around the Sun. Without the gravitational pull of the Sun keeping us in a stable orbit, the Earth would either drift away into the cold, dark void of space or spiral inward, getting dangerously close to the Sun. If we were to drift away, temperatures on Earth would plummet rapidly. The warmth that sustains life would vanish, leading to a frozen, inhospitable world, oceans would freeze, and the atmosphere could collapse, making it impossible for life to survive. On the other hand, spiraling towards the sun would be equally disastrous. The increasing heat would scorch the planet, evaporating oceans and rendering the surface uninhabitable. The intense solar radiation would strip away our atmosphere, leaving Earth a barren wasteland. But that's not all. Losing our orbit would also mean increased chances of collisions with other celestial bodies. If everything is falling towards the sun, why don't things just crash into it and burn up? Well, some things do. Comets, asteroids, sometimes even spacecraft can get pulled in by the sun's gravity if they get too close and don't have enough sideways speed to maintain an orbit. But they don't just fall straight in because they have sideways speed, or orbital velocity, that keeps them moving around the sun in a stable path. In space, the tracks are the gravitational forces and the object's own momentum. If you throw a ball, it follows a curved path because of gravity. The same principle applies to celestial bodies. When we launch spacecraft, we have to give them enough speed to break free from Earth's gravity and enter an orbit around the Sun. If they don't have enough speed, they could end up falling back to Earth or getting pulled into the Sun. That's why mission planning and precise calculations are crucial. We need to ensure that the spacecraft has the right trajectory and speed to reach its destination. But, what if Sun was not there? Can we live without the Sun? The Sun is the primary source of energy for life on Earth. Without it, the planet would become extremely cold, plunging into darkness and freezing temperatures that no life form could survive. Photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy, would cease. This would lead to the collapse of the food chain, as plants are the foundational producers of energy for almost all ecosystems. Herbivores which feed on plants would starve, and subsequently, the carnivores that rely on those herbivores would also perish. Additionally, the absence of sunlight would severely disrupt Earth's climate and weather patterns. The planet's atmosphere would lose its heat source, making it uninhabitable for most forms of life. But, can Earth survive without the Moon? The Moon plays a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's axial tilt, which in turn affects our climate. Without the Moon, Earth's tilt could vary significantly, leading to extreme weather conditions and possibly making the planet less habitable. Imagine a world where the seasons are unpredictable and extreme, causing chaos for ecosystems and human life alike. Additionally, the Moon's gravitational pull affects ocean tides, which are essential for marine life. But here's the thing. It's not just the Earth that's in on this cosmic dance. Every celestial body, from the smallest asteroid to the largest gas giant, participates in this grand cosmic ballet. 
Every planet in our solar system is constantly falling towards the sun, kept in check by their own sideways momentum. This delicate balance between gravitational pull and orbital velocity ensures that planets don't spiral into the sun or drift away into the cold void of space. Even the moon is falling towards Earth, held in orbit by the same gravitational force that keeps us grounded. This gravitational pull is a constant reminder of the invisible threads that connect all objects in space. It's a beautiful example of how gravity governs the universe, creating order out of what might seem like chaos. The gravitational forces at play ensure that everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies move in a synchronized dance maintaining the delicate balance of the cosmos. And it's not just the planets and moons, asteroids, comets, and even the tiniest particles of space dust are all part of this intricate dance. Each one follows its own path, influenced by the gravitational forces of nearby objects. The sun, with its immense gravitational pull, acts as the conductor of this celestial orchestra. Its influence extends far beyond the planets, reaching out to the farthest edges of the solar system, guiding the movements of countless objects. Gravity, as a fundamental force, shapes the very fabric of space-time. It creates ripples and waves that propagate through the universe, influencing the motion of everything in its path. This interconnected web of gravitational interactions is what keeps the universe in a state of dynamic equilibrium. On a larger scale, entire galaxies are also engaged in this cosmic dance. They move towards and away from each other, sometimes colliding and merging, all under the influence of gravity. These interactions can lead to the formation of new stars, planets, and even entire solar systems.